Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. This lesson includes two IELTS letter writing samples. The first is an application letter, which I show you how to plan and write step by step. The second is an example of a letter of resignation. Here's what the lesson includes. The question structure, the letter structure, formal or informal, how to tell the difference, the greeting and sign off, how to generate ideas, and the two sample letters. First, the structure of the question. All questions for IELTS letters have the same structure. They're made up of three parts. Part one is the topic, part two, the person you must write to, and part three, what you should write about, listed as three bullet points. Here's a sample question for a letter of application with the three parts illustrated. You would like a job working in a summer camp which runs sports and outdoor activities for children and young people. Write a letter to the organiser of the summer camp. In your letter, describe your personality, say what relevant experience and skills you have and explain what sort of work you would like to do. The first sentence gives the topic of the question, which is that you want a job working in the summer camp. The second sentence tells you who you should write the letter to, in this case the camp organiser. And the three bullet points tell you what you should write about. You should describe your personality, say what relevant experience and skills you have and explain what sort of work you'd like to do. Understanding the different parts of the question will help you to quickly analyse and plan your answer. To help you plan, use the letter structure I'm about to show you. For a full lesson on planning, study my lesson on how to plan IELTS letters. I put a link to it in the notes below this video. The layout of your letter should follow the structure of the question and consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign off at the end. Use this easy to remember six part structure. Start with the greeting, which will be dear, whoever you're writing to. In paragraph one, state the purpose of the letter, that is, your reason for writing. In paragraph two, write about bullet point one. In paragraph three, write about bullet point two. And in paragraph four, write about bullet point three. Finally, sign off your letter. All you need to do to create your plan is to add in the details from the question, like this. The person we're writing to is the camp organiser, so that's who we'll address in our greeting. Paragraph one is the reason or purpose for writing, which is to apply for a summer camp job. Paragraph two will be about the first bullet point, which is to describe your personality. And paragraph three will be about the second bullet point, which is to say what relevant experience and skill you have. And paragraph four will be about the third bullet point, where you must explain what sort of work you'd like to do. And finally comes the sign off of the letter. IELTS letters must be written in the appropriate tone and style. There are two options, formal to someone you don't know or don't know well, or informal to a friend. It's essential that you're able to identify what type of letter you're required to write. Follow this rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. If the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. The person we're writing to in this question is not a friend so we must write a formal letter. This leads us on to the opening of the letter, the greeting. There are two ways you can begin a formal letter. Use dear sir or madam if you don't know the name of the person you're writing to. But use dear and their surname if you do know their name, for example, dear Mrs Jones. For an informal letter to a friend, you would use their first name, for example, dear Miska. The greeting you use will determine how you sign off your letter. 
For a formal letter, there are two main options for signing off. The correct one will depend on who you're addressing. Use yours sincerely if you started the letter with dear and the surname, for example, dear Mrs. Jones. And use yours faithfully if you started the letter with dear sir or madam. You could also use kind regards. This is formal but friendly and is appropriate for many situations. It's particularly useful if you struggle to remember how to spell sincerely and faithfully. Always sign off a formal letter with your full name. For example, yours sincerely, Jackie Spear. For an informal letter to a friend, use one of these phrases followed by your first name. All the best. See you soon. Keep in touch. For example, see you soon, Jackie. For our sample letter, we will use this greeting and sign off. Dear sir or madam, Yours faithfully, Jackie Spear. We're now ready to think up some ideas to write about. We have the guidelines of the three bullet points to help us, so this won't be difficult. With only 150 words to write, you won't need many ideas. Just make sure that you write about each bullet point and develop each idea fully. They don't have to be the best ideas you can possibly think of. Go with your first thoughts and don't waste time trying to think of better ideas. Just make sure that they're directly related to the bullet points. Note them beside each bullet point on the exam paper like this. For describe your personality, I've noted down outgoing, fun-loving, energetic. For say what relevant experience and skills you have, I've jotted down scout leader, qualified instructor, kayaking and climbing. And for explain what sort of work you would like to do, I've noted lead group activities, campfire cooking. So those are my ideas. That's our planning complete. Once you've had some practice, you'll be able to do this in just a few minutes. Taking time to plan makes writing IELTS letters far quicker and easier than if you don't do this step. You will also write a better letter and get higher marks. We're now ready to start writing our letter. Here's our plan again, with all our notes added in. Pause the video if you want to spend a few minutes studying it. We've already decided on the greeting, so we'll start by writing paragraph 1. In paragraph 1, you must state the reason for writing the letter, that is, its purpose which in this case is to apply for a summer camp job. Many students make the mistake of missing this purpose sentence out, but it's very important. Including it will gain you marks. It only requires one sentence. For example, I would like to apply for a position at your Devon summer camp this year. Here's a top vocabulary tip. Do not use contractions in formal letters. They are informal language. So don't write, I'd like to apply. In the second paragraph, you write about bullet point one, which is to describe your personality. My idea for this is that I'm outgoing, fun loving, energetic and responsible. Remember to keep the language formal for this question. Aim for around 50 words for paragraphs two, three and four. And you could write something like this for this paragraph. I am an outgoing person with lots of energy and a great sense of fun and adventure. I show dedication and a high level of responsibility in everything I do and I'm known for being very reliable. Furthermore, I am confident working on my own but equally enjoy being part of a team. The third paragraph should cover the second bullet point which is say what relevant experience and skills you have. My idea for this is being a scout leader and qualified instructor in kayaking and climbing. You could write something like this. I have many relevant skills to offer. These include level four instructor certificates for both kayaking and climbing, as well as being an experienced dinghy sailor. I was a scout leader for two years before going to university 
and was popular with and respected by all the boys and girls in our pack. Paragraph 4 addresses the third bullet point, which is to explain what sort of work you would like to do. My idea is to lead group activities and do campfire cooking. You could write something like this. I am especially interested in being an activity leader at the summer camp, but would consider any position appropriate to my skills and experience. I would also be willing to organise and lead campfire cooking sessions several evenings a week, as this is another passion of mine and always a favourite with the kids. Now we just need to add the sign off we decided on earlier and our letter is complete. This letter needs one final sentence to round it off before we add the sign off. For example, I thank you for your consideration and look forward to hearing from you. Now we just need to add that sign off we decided on earlier and our letter is complete. Here's our finished letter of application. Pause the video and read through it. Note how all the elements come together and the ideas flow from one to the next. This is what you're aiming for in your letter. To get some practice, write a letter for this question. It's a letter of resignation rather than application, but just follow the same guidelines. It must also be written in a formal style and tone. You have decided to leave your current employment. Write a letter to your employer. In the letter, explain why you have decided to leave the company. Tell your employer what you plan to do after leaving your present employment and say what you have gained from working for the company. You will know the name of your employer, so make one up for this letter. Here's a sample letter. You'll find lessons on other common IELTS letter topics on the website and my YouTube channel. I put a link to the IELTS writing menu page where you'll find all the lessons in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another lesson soon. Goodbye for now.